Okay, so um, this video is just going to be a little bit about um, trying to uh, understand uh, and explain what new golfers and pretty much all golfers experience when they play golf. Everything about golf is counterintuitive. In other words, most golfers, when they pick up a golf club, uh, are going to hit the ball and they're going to do the best they pa the best they can, but they're not going to hit the golf ball the way it should be struck or use the golf club in the way it should be used to the best of their ability. And that's very natural when you look at um, what they are trying to achieve. Most golfers, when they play golf for the first time, uh, get instant gratification by seeing the ball fly wonderfully in the air and they think that's brilliant and that's all very good. And it is, it's, that's the thing that sort of keeps us coming back for more when we see the ball fly uh, towards the target. But in actual fact, unless we learn from the very beginning a little bit more about what we should be doing, we'll continue to ingrain the faults uh, that we learn straight away. Um, so when we've got a golfer, the first thing they do is they tee the ball up and they, they think that they should get the ball up in the air. And the easiest way to get the ball up in the air is by getting the club head to get underneath the ball. Now, if you, I've got three golf clubs here. I've got a, a standard golf club, which has got a, t a DST grip on it. I've got the CR10, which is uh, our transition club, which is uh, a straight shafted golf club, but it has the hand position alignment marker on, which is crucial to help a golfer understand and feel uh, the, the hand position they need to reach at impact. And then we've got the, the full blown training club, the, the, the DST compressor with the curved shaft. Um, we're going to start with the standard golf club just to understand what uh, uh, standard golfers do. But if I set up to this golf ball here, and I'm a beginner or a club golfer and just want to get the ball airborne, the first thing you'll see is that they want to get the club head underneath the golf ball. And that's easy when it's on a tee peg, but when it's lying on the ground, it's much more difficult because they've got to pick it clean. And what typically we see is that the golfer leans back or keeps their weight away from the target, back from the center of their stance. They reach the point of full extension before they hit the golf ball Full extension is when the shaft of the golf club ex overtakes the uh, extension of the lead arm. And from this point here, the only way they have to hit the ball is by using their wrists and their hands to go and try and get the club head to go against the ball, to square the club face up. Now, when we have that kind of situation, you can see that the low point of the club head arc is before the golf ball. So in that situation, we're only going to have uh, a strike, which is either a fat where you duff the ball so you had to take a divot before the ball or you thin the ball um, by trying to stand up and flick your wrists but you don't get completely under the ball and you hit halfway up and you just scull it towards the target those are the two situations we see the vast majority of golfers uh, play and in both of them they lose control of the club face before they hit the ball so we'll just have a look at that so we'll purposefully um, either thin one or duff one, or basically reach full extension before the ball. Okay, so here I am. So that was a thinned, relatively straight shot, but instantly you can tell that my body weight has stayed back and I'm reliant upon my wrists and my hands to, to try and hit at the ball. Now it's rather like watching a, a javelin thrower or a shot putter or a baseball pitcher get into a position to, to, to throw an implement and throw it off their back foot. So there's no power. They're not leveraging their body weight to get through the shot with any consistency at all. There's no power just in my arm and my hand when you compare it to the power that my body can leverage and generate when I use that correctly. So what we're trying to do in golf is counterintuitive and that's what DSD golf clubs have been designed and aimed at helping the golfer to feel, understand and train and get really good at perfecting. So let's just have a look at the, the, the two clubs that we've made here. The compressor clearly is a curved shafted training club. And this has been designed with a curved shaft which replicates the shape of a normal golf club under its maximum load during impact when it absorbs the weight of the ball and the turf. And if we play this ball on the ground rather than on a tee peg, we don't have the luxury of uh, leaning back and flicking our wrists in order to try and get the club head under the ball. Because the hands, because of the curved shaft, we need to get our hands in front of where the club head is 
and we know when we've got that position right because we've got a, a little groove on the hosel of the golf club here which is called the hand position alignment marker. Now when we uh, tilt the, the grip end of the club towards the target we de-loft the club and that hand position alignment marker is aligned with the bottom groove on the club face and when both of those grooves are aligned with my eye line that's the position in which I need to have when I grip the club at, at setup there. Okay. And when I come back to the golf ball at impact, I'm wanting to reobtain the same position with my hands, if not get my hands further in front. Now what that means instantly is that I've got to hit the ball first and then afterwards take a divot after I've hit the ball. So I'm going to have a ball and then turf strike. And that's what the, uh, the, the, uh, the tour professionals uh, have. Um, and that's the reason why they hit the ball so far is because they de-loft the club face. So they're essentially turning an 8-iron into a 6-iron. So, the DST compressor forces you to understand and feel the position that we want to achieve at impact where we've got our hands forwards, our weight into our left side and we're using our big core body muscles to rotate towards the target. So let's just hit a shot like this now. and instantly I can feel that I've got my entire body weight towards the target. I'm balanced and stable on my left leg and my hands didn't come into that shot at all. I really got through the ball and had very passive hands and straight away I can see I hit the ball first and then took a divot afterwards. So golf is counterintuitive but there is help at hand. If you're not already training with the DST clubs, do. Go out and get one, borrow one, buy one, but I can pretty much guarantee that if you can start feeling what you uh, should feel by swinging the, the, the compressor or the CR10, you'll start using your body weight correctly in the golf swing and after that uh, only good things can happen. So good luck and we'll see you online again soon.